Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel that makes networking easy, fun, and totally beginner friendly. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a Cisco router into a fully functional internet gateway and set it up to automatically assign IP addresses to devices on your network. Don't worry, it's way easier than it sounds. Stick with me, and by the end, you'll have a router that works like a pro. All right, let's kick things off with the first step, getting your router connected to the internet. This is where the magic starts. The WAN interface, basically the port that talks to your ISP, needs to grab an IP address. To make it happen, we're going to use just a few commands. Ready? Here we go. Configure terminal. Interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0. IP address DHCP. No shutdown. Exit. Boom. Just like that, your router is asking your ISP for an IP address. Step one done. Next up, we need to set up the LAN interface. Think of this as the front door of your internal network. It's where all your devices connect to get access to the internet. Let's give it a static IP address to make things nice and tidy. Interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1. IP address 192.168.1.1255.255.255.0. No shutdown. Exit. There you have it. 192.168.1.1 is now the gateway for your local network. Your devices will know exactly where to look to get online. But wait. We're not done yet. Imagine you have a bunch of devices and you don't want to assign IP addresses manually. Who's got time for that, right? That's where DHCP comes in. It's like your router's personal assistant, handing out IP addresses automatically. Let's set that up. IP DHCP excluded address 192.168.1.1192.168.1.10. IP DHCP pool LAN underscore pool. Network 192.168.1.0255.255.255.0. Default 192.168.1.1. DNS 8.8.8.8. Exit. What did we just do? We told the router. Hey, don't assign IPs from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.10. Those are reserved for special cases. Then we created a pool of addresses for all your other devices and made sure they know the default gateway and DNS settings. Easy, right? All right, here comes the cool part, getting your devices online. To make that happen, we need to enable NAT or network address translation. Think of NAT as the bridge between your internal network and the big, wide internet. Here's how to do it. Access list 1 permit 192.168.1.00 dot zero dot zero dot two five five ip net inside source list one interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash zero overload interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash zero ip net outside exit interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash one ip net inside exit what's happening here your internal devices are now sharing the router's public ip to access the internet. Pretty awesome, right? And now, the final step, the cherry on top. We need to save everything so it doesn't disappear if the router reboots. Just type this, exit, write memory, and that's it. Your Cisco router is now fully set up to connect to the internet and manage your internal network like a boss. Not bad for a few minutes of work. So, what do you think? Wasn't that easier than you expected? If you got value out of this video, Hit that like button to let me know, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss more beginner-friendly networking tutorials. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll catch you in the next one.